Here, the question is: Which combination of p, q, and r values will ensure 100% statement coverage? And then these options are provided. Now let's analyze the code to get the correct answer. Line number one is: If p equals to q, since this is a condition, we can represent it like this. Line number two is r equals to r plus one. It will execute one if condition is true. Since this is a statement and we can represent it like this in flowchart, line number three is if r is less than five. This is a condition. We can represent it like this. Line number four is. S equals ten. This will execute when if condition is true, and we can represent it like this. At line number five, the bracket is closing. This closing bracket is for line number three. That means the condition on line number three ends here, and in flowchart we can represent it like this. Now let's analyze line number six. Here we have a closing bracket. This closing bracket is for condition on line number one. That means the condition one ends here. Next is else condition. If the first condition one fails, then if p is greater than q, will execute. And since this is a condition, we can represent it like this. Line number seven is s equals to five. This will execute when if condition becomes true, and we can place it here in flowchart. Line number eight is a closing bracket. It is for condition on line number six, and this is how we can close the flowchart. With this, the flowchart is complete. Now let's see what we have to find in this question. Which combination of p, q, and r values will ensure 100% statement coverage? That means we have to analyze all the options one by one to find which one will cover 100% statement coverage. Option A has two combination. Let's first analyze. P equals five. Q equals five. R equals five. Here, P and Q are equal. First condition will become true. And since R is five, second condition becomes false. With this path, only one statement is covered. Still, two statements are not covered. Now let's analyze. Second combination, p equals five, q equals four, r equals negative one. Since p and q are not same here, first condition will become false, and here p is greater than q, so second condition will become true. With option A, we can only cover two statements out of three. So this is not the correct answer. Now we'll analyze option B. The first combination is p equals five, q equals one, r equals three. Here p and q are not equal, so first condition will become false, and p is greater than q, so second condition will become true. Now let's analyze second combination. P equals four. Q equals four. R equals five. Here, P and Q are equal, so first condition will become true, and R is not less than five, so second condition will fail. With option B, we can only cover two statements out of three. 
so this is not the correct answer. Now we'll analyze option C. The first combination is P equals 3, Q equals 3, R equals 3. Here, P and Q are equal, so condition 1 will become true. And R is less than 5, so second condition will also become true. Now let's analyze second combination. P equals negative 1. Q equals negative 2. R equals 3. Here, P is not equal to Q. So first condition will fail. And Q is greater than Q. So second condition will become true. Now we can see that all the statements are covered. Therefore, this is the correct answer. For this question option, C is the correct answer.